morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Saturday morning. I hope you are having a blessed day, and we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today on this Saturday is Psalm 138. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods I will sing your praise. I will bow down toward your holy temple and praise your name. Because of your love and faithfulness, for you have glorified your name, for your word above all things. When I called, you answered me, and you increased my strength within me. All the kings of the earth will praise you, O Lord, when they have heard the words of your mouth. They will sing the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he, causes, uh, he cares for the lowly. He perceives the haughty from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you keep me safe. You stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand shall save me. The Lord will, t will make good his purpose for me. O Lord, your love endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hand. <coughs> Excuse me. Let us pray. Lord God, you keep the proud at a distance and look up the lowly with favor. Stretch out your hand to us in, your, in our suffering. Perfect us perfect in us the work of your love and bring us the life of, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading today comes from Genesis, the 18th chapter. And the Lord appeared to him by the oaks of Mamre as he sat at the door of his tent in the heat of the day. He lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, three men stood in front of him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent door to meet them and bowed himself to the earth and said, My Lord, if I have found favor in your sight, do not pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought, and wash your feet, and rest yourself under the tree, while I fetch a morsel of bread, that you may refresh yourselves, and after that you may pass on, since you have come on your uh, come to your servant. So they said, Do as you have said. And Abraham hastened into the tent to Sarah, and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes. And Abraham ran to the herd, and took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to the servants and ha who hastened to prepare it. Then he took curds and milk and, and, and the calf, and which, came, which he had prepared, and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree while they ate. They said to him, Where is Sarah, your wife? And, and he said, She is in the tent. The Lord said, I will surely return to you in the spring, and Sarah, your wife, shall have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent door behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, advanced in age. It has ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. So Sarah laughed to herself, saying, After I have gone old, I've grown old, and my husband is old, shall I have pleasure? The Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh? And said, Shall I indeed bear a child now that I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you in the spring, and Sarah shall have a son. But Sarah denied, saying, I did not laugh, for she was afraid. He said, No, but you did laugh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Hebrew, the 10th chapter. For if we sin deliberately after deceiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful prospect of judgment and a fury of fire which will consume the adversaries. A man who has violated the law of Moses dies without mercy at the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by this, this man who has spurned the Son of God? 
and profaned the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and outraged the spirit of grace. For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, and again the Lord will judge the people. It is fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But recall the former days when, after you were enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with suffering, sometimes sometimes with punish, uh, with publicly exposed to abuse and affliction, and sometimes being partners with those uh, so treated. For you have companion on the, uh, on the prisoners, and you joyfully accepted the plundering of your property, since you knew that you yourselves had a better pos- a possession and an abiding one. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward, for you have need of endurance, so that you may do the will of God and receive what is promised. For yet a little while, and the coming one shall come and shall, and shall not tarry, but my righteous one shall live by faith. And if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who have faith and keep their souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our Holy Gospel today comes from St. John, the sixth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, go into a boat, and start across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea rose because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and drawing near the boat. They were frightened, but he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. Then they were glad to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat was at the land to which they were going. On the next day, the people who remained on the other side of the sea saw that they had been been the only ones, saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not entered the boat and his disciples, but with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. However, Boats from uh, Tiberias came near the place where they had ate the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the people saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they themselves got into boats and went to Capernaum seeking Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you seek me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him his God, the Father, set his seal. The word of the Lord, the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways God spoke to the people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son. Our Lord and our Savior, begotten before all ages, revealed himself to the world. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen our Lord and our Savior, begotten before all ages, revealed himself to the world. Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant us, O God, to be mindful now of thy presence, that what we think and say and all we do and learn to arrange itself as before thy face. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day. God bless you and hope to see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.